Today I'm reviewing the first generation iPhone SE released back in 2016. This device was a budget friendly alternative to Apple more expensive options. It features a 4 inch display, 12 megapixel camera, the same chipset A9 as you can find on the more expensive iPhone 6S. Looking forward to today, a smartphone landscape has changed dramatically. We've seen the rise of foldable phones, flip phones, 5G, 200 megapixel camera, 8K, 4K, you name it. But despite all the changes, the first generation iPhone SE still holds up as a great phone, and I'll tell you why. First of all is the price. I actually bought this device on Facebook Marketplace for 40 pounds. Yes, 40 pounds. And I think for this kind of money, you cannot go wrong with this device. Look at the build quality. Yes, you know, it's 2023 now, but the quality seems to be really nice even now, considering how old this device is. We still have fingerprint scanner. It's not the fastest, but does the job. Screen is bright enough. Performance is not bad at all. I'm going to play some of the YouTube videos from my channel. And for day-to-day -day, uh, users, I do not have any complaints whatsoever. I think we uh, we got used to it to bigger devices now, but for some people that appreciate the small size, this is actually a good alternative. I was reviewing some of the smaller phones. Uh, this is like one of the one of the most unique phones I had. It was the Unihertz 2 E Jelly, uh, which you if you are into small phones, you should definitely check that video out because it's a really little nice phone. Yeah. Google Pixel 7 Pro. Are you ready for camera test? Let's go. Control angle 4K. 30 frames. Viewing angle is not the greatest. Amazing. Look at dynamic range. But Look at the colors. Really. Watching nice. little things here and there. This is the main. You should be absolutely fine. Scrolling websites, typing messages. I was lucky because I purchased this um, device and someone replaced the battery so my battery health is actually 100% so this phone will last me about two days. Now I wasn't using it for the last couple of days and you can see it's still 64% that's pretty insane for £40. This is definitely something that worth considering. As I said I purchased this for £40 uh, but Google when you were buying new Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, they give you £160 off, which means I got this really cheap. So make sure you stick around because I will be doing full review. I did not even open this phone yet, so stay tuned for that. Well, let's go back to iPhone SE and the build quality. Look, look, it is still doing pretty good. Yes, there are some scratches here and there, but what's even more impressive, this is actually the last phone from iPhone with headphone jack. How amazing was that? Do you remember back then? Yes, iPhone also had headphone jack, but not anymore. So as you can see, this phone doesn't have the latest software. However, iOS 15 is not bad at all. So sadly, you won't get any further than that. There's no 16 available but it's still there's no lag i've been doing some editing listening to the music watching little videos scrolling social media and it was absolutely fine so i was really impressed about that to be honest yes this isn't the latest version however you can still download some apps because i will be doing some editing and see how this phone's gonna keep up with the performance of 4k footage now please bear in mind this phone has only 16 gigabytes so you have to be very careful how much you're downloading because you will run out of the storage pretty quickly uh, but let's go and check on the camera selfie camera 1.2 megapixels okay i mean you can't expect some amazing results but for you actually getting here 720p it's not bad at all but i wouldn't really do much vlogging with this because of the quality but if you move to the main sensor you've got actually 4k 30 frames per second which is pretty insane I have to say I have made a little video uh, and take a couple of pictures here and there and the results are really nice in my opinion check this out
fact, there's still loads of people that are using and love their iPhones FE up to today. This phone has really good build quality, overperformance, brilliant camera, not bad at all. So if you are in the market for a budget-friendly smartphone that can still hold its own first-generation iPhone SE, it's definitely worth considering. What do you think about this phone so far? Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.